Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and I'm here to show you a really easy tip in case your machine starts to bird's nest. A lot of people come into the store with this knot underneath their fabric where it looks like the machine has just gone totally awry. So I want to tell you um, something quick that you can check that you may not have known about a machine, um, your sewing machine but it's on almost every single brand. Um, right now, I've got a Skyline S6 from Janome out. This is one of my favorite machines in the store. There's a whole series of Skylines, but these are really simple to use. Um, the, and all sewing machines, one of the most common things that people forget to do, or they just miss as a step, is the take-up lever. So I'm gonna thread this machine up, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we miss that take-up lever. I'm gonna show you what the take-up lever looks like and then I'm going to um, show you the proper way to fix that. Let me wind the bobbin first so that we can get on the same page. This bobbin is really simple to wind. I'm just gonna pop it on top here. Wrap it around a few times. So if you're ha having issues with birds nesting, the first step going to be to change the needle. Check and re-thread your machine and I'll show you why that's important. That should be enough. So we're going to put our bobbin in. It's a quick set bobbin so it goes into the tension really easy. Okay, so I'm going to turn the hand wheel of my machine and as I turn it, you may be able to see this little silver knob move up and down. I'll actually zoom in on that for you guys right here. I am my own production and, <laughs> and shooter. So I'm going to move the needle up and down, and you can see this little silver knob start to move. If I turn my hand wheel, you can also see it moving there. That's the take-up lever. That's moving my thread up and down as the machine moves up and down, as the needle moves up and down, and it sews along. So oftentimes what can happen is when we thread our machine, we just don't get the thread all the way in that take-up lever. I love this Janome because I'm able to open this and see really easily. Not all machines open have a door that opens, so it's a feature I really love about this machine in particular. So let me show you what happens when you don't um, thread the take-up lever correctly, and then I'll show you what happens when you do. So I'm going to intentionally not thread this correctly. Let's see if I can do it. So I'm going to come here, and what happens is sometimes your needle's in the down position and you try to like spin it around, but it doesn't get into this um, take-up lever here. So then we're just going to thread the needle and pretend that we don't know what happened, but we do. Okay, so. Let's hear what it sounds like without the take-up lever. It's always a little scary. I'm gonna drop my presser foot. I'm gonna slow it down. Horrible. Okay, it kills me, I can't do it too long. I'm gonna cut. Now, I didn't really get any stitching on top, and on the bottom it looks like that. Who's used to seeing that and then wondering what has happened? Probably a lot of people. That's the bird's nest that I'm talking about. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to stop and re-thread our machine. So um, what's suggested is that you cut your um, thread from the top and then pull your thread through. And we're going to re-thread. And this time, I'm going to make sure my presser foot is all the way up. That way, my tension discs are open. And I'm going to make sure my needle is in the most upright position. If you have one of these awesome needle up down buttons, just press it once and then press it again to your needles up and then you'll know it's in the top position. So I always like to hold my thread like I'm flossing my teeth and I'm going to come down, up, and around. And I'm going to make sure my thread clicks into my take-up lever, which is right here, it's that silver knob. And then I'm going to thread it like I normally would. And now, let's see if we have any success. That's the Janome purr I'm used to. So much better. So if you're having issues with birds nesting on the back, or you've got that clunky noise sound with this on the back, try and check that your take-up lever has the thread all the way through it. If it doesn't, change your needle. 
And if you're still having issues, we have awesome technicians here that can help you. Just wanted to give you a quick tip and trick and teach you about something, um, the mechanics of a sewing machine that you may not have known about. See you guys soon.